now I will use not so thin thread because I need to show you step by step how to make this cord. So first we need to make first loop, uh, next uh, one chain loop and one more chain. After we need to insert hook to the first chain, yarn over and make this second loop. Now I have two loops on my hook, join them together and uh, we have the beginning. Uh, now we need to turn this first part and we have here at this side one, uh, one thread. You can clearly see this one thread. So you need to insert hook under this thread, yarn over and make one more loop. So now I have two loops on my hook and I will um, just make single crochet, yarn over and draw thread zogs two loops. Again, turn this work to the same direction and this time we have two loops on this left side. We need to insert hook under these two threads, two loops. Again, yarn over, draw thread zogs two loops and now I have here again two loops like single crochet. We need to finish the stitch, yarn over and draw zogs two loops. Again, turn this work. Insert hook below two threads, yarn over and draw zogs two loops. Uh, and now we have on the hook two loops and we need to finish single crochet like this. Again, turn this cord, insert a hook below two threads and uh, please make everything not tight because it's really hard to work if you make it tight. Now again, make the second loop and draw thread zogs to loop. Again, turn this work, insert hook below two threads and next yarn over make draw thread like this, yarn over and draw those two loops. So let's make it a few times more and we will see first part of this cord. This is a basic crochet cord. You just need to make it everything a little bit loosely. And one more time just to show you how it looks. So we have this beginning, beautiful cord, looks like this. It's not so thin thread, like you can see this. This is very tender from Italian viscos, and it's. Uh, I like to use something like this for lace. I don't like to make this v not so thin laces. So, from Italian viscos, it's very thin. This is just for example to show you how it looks, how to work. Uh, next, we will look to the graphic and start to make first leaf. Okay, uh, now let's look how to make the first leaf. So you will make some part, you will choose what length you want to make. Uh, I make it uh, here on this photo, you can see longer. I like uh, like beginning some part of twig, not so small. And next, first leaf. So we have here uh, this, this one is this cord, this on the graphic. Uh, next, uh, we need to make from this place a chain. I make it from eight chain loops. 8 or 9, I try two variants uh, and I like it more uh, 8, to make it smaller it looks uh, better I think, uh, just we can make the smaller this hole and 8 chain loops is ok. Uh, next, when you finish uh, this 8 chain loops, uh, join by just single crochet or if you like slip stitch, I like single crochet, join here and next uh, turn, turn this beginning and around this uh, arch or this ring uh, we need to make one single crochet, one half double crochet and uh, five double crochet, pick off from five chain loops, five double crochet, one half double crochet, one single crochet here and join to this cord by single crochet. In this way you will finish this beautiful first leaf and next continue to make uh, the next part of this cord just some um, I know of eight uh, times something like this uh, 
uh, you're asking about Italian viscos. Okay, 100 grams has uh, 1,400 meters, like this. It's very thin. Uh, I can say it's uh, the same like sewing thread. When I'm working and uh, when I was making this one uh, lace ribbon for lesson, I joined together three threads and for three threads I use my crochet hook 1.75 millimeters, so like this. But sometimes I like to use two threads for lace, it's very, very, very tender. Uh, Pilar, hello Pilar, it's okay. <laughs> I think you know this basic chord, so it's okay that you uh, just miss this part. Uh, but you will see the, the most pleasant moment when we will have the big lottery, <laughs> I think. Uh, next, uh, so let's look how to make this first leaf. So, we need to make 8 chain loops, accurate, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Uh, now, I, j I just join to this first chain, like at the back side, make single crochet, next turn it, and start to work with this chain. One uh, single crochet, one half double crochet, next uh, 5 double crochet one two three four uh, four and the last is five is the middle of this leaf uh, now five chain loops this will be picot from five chain loops and second part of this leaf is the same, symmetrically, 5 double crochet, 1 half double crochet, 4 and 5, uh, next half double crochet and one more single crochet. Next, uh, we just need to join uh, to this motif here. Ah, okay, I was, I made joining here, I just when I make few variants. And next, again, below this two threads that we have in our cord, like we did before, make one loop and next join them together. Turn this work and, then, and in this moment, the first single crochet, I will just make straight to this first leaf, to this single crochet, like this. After, turn this work and again I can start to make the cord like we did before. So we have, we can see this uh, two threads here and we need to insert hook below and under and just make it loosely, not like me, it's hard to work, a little bit loosely everything. And again you can see this two threads, you can insert hook below and continue to, to work. Okay, I hear... Juliana McKittrick, thank you for registering in the lottery. Uh, Juliana, you registered to the lottery, my congratulations. I will add you to the list of participants and you will have chance to take one of prizes today. Thank you so much. <laughs> uh, so I will continue to work as this few times I will turn this cord and make this beautiful part of twig step by step. You just need to make it a little bit loosely and you will make it more quickly and without problems. And how to know when to stop? So you need to count maybe this, um, uh, you can see thread at the left side, so I count for example 4, 1 or oh, 5 uh, and this distance I like it and stopped here. So next, we need to stop at the next side. If you have first leaf here, you need to stop at the side. So I will make one more time this, I turn this work and make one more time single crochet and from this point I can start to make second leaf because in this way I will have here this leaf, not at the right side, I will have it at the left side. Next time I will stop at the right side and step by step I will make everything at the right places. So we have the first leaf and we continue to work with this cord, like this. <laughs> P 
Pilar, thank you for your comment. <laughs> uh, yes, uh, we have here a very nice master of this work. Of she, she made very beautiful nails. So thank you, thank you <laughs> for your compliment. I'm very glad that you like it. And now uh, you can see how to make the second leaf. Uh, so first was at the left side, second at the right side. And uh, the scheme is the same, so it's very easy to remember and you can easily make this beautiful lace ribbon if you know how to make the cord and if you understand how to make the first leaf and how to change this direction, how to change uh, this placement of each leaf. And uh, so start again, 8 chain loops, uh, join to the ring by a single crochet, turn uh, the work and around this chain make single crochet, one half double crochet, next 5 double crochet, pick off from 5 chain loops, again 5 double crochet, five, uh, 1 half double crochet, 1 single crochet, and the last is this one, single crochet, like the last uh, we can make joining, uh, just uh, join together all this, these two parts and continue to make this cord. I will show you the second leaf now and next we will see the rest part. Okay. So from this side again, make 8 chain loops, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Uh, next. Uh, how to make this joining? You see, we have this chain like this, and like I go at the back side of this chain, just make connection to the first loop, insert hook, make single crochet, and I will have the ring. Next, turn this work, catch this ring that we prepared, and make around one single crochet. Next, one half double crochet. Uh, five double crochet. This will be half of second leaf. The same graphic like we have at the first one. So four and five. Uh, next, pick off from five chain loops. Four, five, single crochet, and now five, three, four and five. Uh, next half double crochet and the last is single crochet. Now this moment joining. I insert hook around the single crochet that we have in the beginning and make one more single crochet. Next uh, we have here you can see this two threads again and everything is ready. We can just insert under these two threads hook and make loop and next join them together single crochet. After turn this work, first single crochet we just make the standard uh, without these cords, uh, just make the standard stitch, turn this work and now you can see these two threads at the left side, insert a hook under these two threads and it's very hard because it's tight. Okay, make it a little bit loosely everything and now finish the single crochet Turn this work, again insert below two threads, make the next single crochet, again turn the work, insert hook, make the loop and finish single crochet. So I really like to make it, especially from Italian viscose, <laughs> but make it very loosely from Italian viscose, it's very tender. And uh, next I will show you uh, where I use these beautiful lace ribbons at the uh, dress skyly. You will see today where I use them and how it looks. So I made it and now one more time. Uh, we have this uh, two leaves like this. Everything is okay. Next we should make at the right side. So we need to stop here. I am now I am at the left side So I need to make one more time turn this work make one more uh, single crochet and now uh, I am here at this side and uh, Everything is uh, ready the same distance. I have here of this cord and I can start to make eight chain loops to start new leaf three four five six seven eight like this, go at the back side, make this single crochet, joining to the first chain loop, and after turn this work and start to make third 
third leaf. So in the beginning, it was hard for me to understand how to uh, f how to start each leaf to make it right at the right uh, at the right place. So that's why I am <laughs> telling you this now a few times because for me it was not so easy to understand when I start to make it. So now picot. Next, uh, symmetrically five double crochet, one half double crochet, and next one single crochet. Half double crochet and the last single crochet around the ring. And the last is joining to this first uh, single crochet in the beginning. Next, we can see this two cords very easy. Make the single crochet, turn the work, and after. Okay. Okay, like this. And you can see the result. So everything is okay. We have the right place here the right direction and uh, like this continue to work just make the same distance here and you will have beautiful uh, lace ribbon beautiful result okay I hope you understand how to make it one more time you can see uh, this variant very soft very tender we have this lace ribbon looks like this Okay. If you like this video and you want to receive a new video lessons from our crochet studio, then subscribe to our YouTube channel. Also subscribe to our page on Facebook and you will be aware of all events, news and promotions. I have prepared for you a series of free crochet courses with video tutorials and detailed schemes in PDF format. You can get this free lesson, just click by the link below and subscribe. After that you immediately start receiving emails with free crochet courses to your mailbox.